Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to do a natural hair products empties. In this lovely bucket, I have all the natural hair products that I've used until they were empty. So pretty much I'm just gonna go over what I have, if I liked it, and if I repurchase it, and if I, pretty much if I liked it, if I, and if I ever repurchase, and my general use of the product. So, um, I have this Neutrogena Triple Moisture Deep Recovery Hair Mask. I um, got this, well, A, because if you've seen my videos in the past, you know I love the red stickers at Target. But um, I got this to use as a deep, condition, deep conditioner when I straighten my hair. Um, it's nothing special, but I like it, and it has silicones in it, so it provides the purpose that I need when I straighten my hair with the silicones. So, you know, this is if you're looking for something reasonably priced, not too expensive, but does the job. So, would I repurchase this? Yes, I would. Next is this Good, good. GUD, it's a conditioner from Burt's Bees. Got this a long time ago. Of course, it has a red sticker. It took me forever to use this product, product up. It is um, natural softening conditioners with thyme in it. What is this? The red sticker is in the array. Red, ruby, green, something. Grapefruit and thyme. It's all right. It's you know one of the natural conditioners, so it's not. It's got good ingredients, but it's something that took me forever to use because I really didn't care too much for it. And would I repurchase this? No. I think I got this for a decent price because of the red sticker, but I think the original price is kind of expensive for something that I wouldn't buy. So I, I definitely wouldn't buy that regular price. The next thing I have is this naturally sick. Elements um, Deep Nourishing Conditioner and it says, you know, free of parabens, mineral, petroleum. Got this at Sally's. It is 12 ounce jar for like six bucks. So I use this on um, my natural curly hair. Um, it doesn't have the best wonderful natural ingredients but it doesn't have silicones or super harmful ingredients so it's a good in-between conditioner that I use on my naturally curly hair um, it's 12 ounce jar for like six bucks it's I like it it makes my hair moisturized and um what I repurchase this yes and I need to go to the store and like repurchase this ASAP because I don't have one at the moment so the next thing I got that I emptied is this Camille Rose coconut water setting style setter and this is hydrating cream deluxe um, I love the smell of the smell of this I cannot remember how much this is priced but I do have a video on it so I'm pretty sure it's in that video um, I did like the way that my hair turned out this is the 8 ounce jar and I wouldn't repurchase this mainly because, well, I love Camille Rose. I have um, taken coconut oil out of my regimen for my hair. And I, in past videos, have, have explained that my hair started acting funny and weird. And I started disliking it. And I noticed that it started doing this at the time that I was using coconut oil like crazy and then everything and the moment that I took it out of my regimen my routine my hair started going back to normal so I will not repurchase this only because it's got coconut water in it I think it's a good moisturizing um, product and I would like you know recommend it to people who do not have sensitivity to coconut oil so the next thing is this Camille Rose Natural Naturals Aloe Whipped Butter Gel. So, um, of course, this is eight ounces. It's at Target now. They have expanded to Sally's and CVS, and they sell Walmart's, which is a plus. 
because even in some of my targets that were about around me or whatever they didn't even have this item so I'm glad that she's expanding and her brand is one of my favorites along with Allocate Naturals because the ingredients my hair agrees with and loves but anyways to not make this video super long the whip aloe whipped butter gel is more of a thinner consistency than the twisting butter that she has and um it just depends on my mood on whether I would use this would I repurchase this I would repurchase but between this and her um twist butter which is down here in the bottom um I would buy the twist butter before I buy this but this the whip gel and I've got the curl aid too. I just got a little bit of curl aid left. The curl aid is actually something that I would not repurchase. It's really, really thick and it's not a favorite of mine. So that is gone. Um, next thing is this Aussie Mega Moist Shampoo. I have stepped away from the Curly Girl method slightly and I use shampoos with sulfates and shampoos without sulfates my favorite shampoo with sulfates is this like this will be a f I'm a fan fave like I love this so I'm done with this I already have one in my shower as a backup it cleans your hair but it doesn't strip your hair which is a plus especially since you know that is typically what sulfate free shampoos do but I need my hair to feel a little bit more clean than some sulfate free shampoos do and then I use this when I need to take the silicones off my hair when I go from straight hair to curly hair alright so yes of course I'll repurchase that it's already in my shower next thing is this Hicks age control um, age control <laughs> it comes in a, how many ounces is this a four ounce it's a pomade it comes in a four ounce jar like this um it smells divine divine it does not have like bad ingredients it doesn't really have um like no silicones or anything which is a plus so i can use this um, with my natural curly hair or my natural straight hair um i got this originally at walmart but I really haven't seen it that much since then. But I have seen this in Sally's and the normal beauty supply stores that are owned by Asians, um, typically. Um, but I love this stuff. I would repurchase this. It's highly, it's pricey. It's about 15 to 16 bucks. But this is kind of like the only age control that works for my hair. Doesn't make it feel filmy afterwards and doesn't leave white gook like gook in my hair so I would repurchase this recommend love it um next is this Shea Moisture Sasha Itchy Oil Omega 369 Rescue Repair Hair Mask I got that let's go ahead and talk about the hair mask and I have the curl dividing smoothie which this line, um, do I have some left? Hold on. I have just a little bit left, so not quite empty, but this line is found at um, Ulta. Um, it smells okay. Let me see. Ooh, it smells okay. It's not like my favorite, but um, in regards to moisture that I'm looking for, and uh, grand filling. I didn't get that from this. These the hair mask is all right. It's not bad. Smoothie is all right. It's not bad. Is it something that I would repurchase at this moment? No, probably not. I probably wouldn't repurchase this. It, it's got to give me some oomph. It's got to you know give me a wow factor. And I didn't get a wow so, factor. Yeah. So these two products from Ulta. But I think they're like $15, 12 between $12 and $15, I would not repurchase. Okay, moving on. We just have a little bit of it. A little bit left. So, Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. 
This is what it looks like. I think this was like $14 at Target. Doesn't have any bad ingredients in it. Um, but the glycerin is high on the list in my hair. It doesn't really react well the glycerin. I have no idea why. Why does my hair have to be so finicky? Why? Anyways, this is an 8.5 5 flow ounce bottle. Um, the product is a jelly consistency. It's very light. It smells so good. It smells like baby powder. I love it for the smell. I stopped using this as um, a styler after the first use because it did nothing for my hair. So I would just use this as like lazy days when I wanted to put some gel on the sides of my edges and put a scarf on and smooth those down. So no, I would not be rebuying this. Sorry, it just didn't do nothing for me. So, Camille Rose Naturals Almond Twisting Butter. This is me fave. I love the smell. The consistency is it's thick, but it ain't super thick and it's not thin um it's eight ounce eight ounce jar it is pricey i can't remember the price probably like 16 17 dollars i don't know i really like this for my twist outs and my twist and that is about it so i will this is a stable for me so i already have a backup in my bathroom currently as we speak <clears throat> Next is Allocate Naturals. So my favorite two brands are Camille Rose and Allocate Naturals. I want to try more of her products. I've only tried a few, but this is the Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner. It's an 8 full an ounce. Target does sell this one and the Big Daddy, which I'm going to be getting next because I use this up like nobody's business. Um, it's got really good ingredients into it. My hair loves this stuff. It loves this stuff. Like, legit loves this stuff. So, kudos to LK. And, uh, done with this. And I'll be getting the Big Daddy next. <clears throat> next is the Shea Moisture Boab and Tea Tree Oils Low Prosody Protein Free Conditioner. <coughs> This conditioner was alright. Like legit, it was just alright. Like not nothing special, nothing nothing grand. I don't feel I don't feel like it left me too moisturized. I would not use this as a um, a washout. I'm not paying this much money for a washout conditioner. I definitely use this as a leave-in. But I would not repurchase. And I have the Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard. This is one of my top stylers. Um, I do have to kind of still use a little bit of extra product as far as like conditioner and maybe um, some Eco Styling Gel on top of this. But I like to put this underneath my Eco Styling Gel because this provides more of a moisturizing feel to my hair versus the Eco Styler can pretty much dry my hair out after a while because of the protein that's in it but this is my top like styler and it's at target i've only seen it at target yeah it's at target it's like 17 bucks 16.99 it's an eight ounce jar um i would definitely repurchase so um next is the owen Whipped pudding, pudding, handmade, and then this is the shook. What is this? Yeah, um, this is very thick, to say the least. It smells good. It smells like. Does this smell like cooked chocolate? I don't know. It smells good. I just realized I had some products still left in, and I thought I was done with it. So. It's um, only a four full and ounce jar. I probably wouldn't repurchase this. Like, it's not a bad product. I would recommend it, but I probably wouldn't repurchase this. Um, but the other one, the sugar, 
pomade that they have in this brand, I would get that. Um, they just don't sell it at my targets near me or I haven't seen it in my targets in my city at all. When I go back home to my hometown, they have it in the target that I go to. So that being the case, um, I wouldn't get this, but I would get the sugar. I think it's got sugar pomade by Owen, so I would recommend this. I would not reach purchase. And last but not least, which is pretty much everybody's stash, well, most likely. Some people don't do gel, but it's the Big Daddy Eco Styler Gel. Eco Styler Gel, the Argan Oil. Finish this up. Um, I am. I got a little bottle in my bathroom already, but I will re repurchase this. Um, and I only pretty much like the Argan Oil. I know it's probably not much of a difference between any of them. But, um, yes, I will be repurchasing this. So, that was the end. That was the end of all my empties for my natural hair care products. Um, yes, so I'll see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching.